everyone, Lindsay here, a children and teen librarian at the Vancouver Public Library. And in this video, we're going to learn three easy ways to search for your next great read or your next great listen using Libby. If you haven't seen part one and part two of this video, please check the description box below so that you don't miss out on how to set Libby up and check out an ebook and an audiobook. Let's get started. When you open the Libby app, the first step is to get to the teen page. So we're going to go ahead and click on the button that says explore and then guide teens. And the first way to search is by simply using the search box. So up here at the top, if you click on the magnifying glass, you can start typing a title or an author if you know something specific you're looking for. And you'll notice that as I start typing, some suggestions are offered down below. And on the right hand side, it will tell me if it's part of a series or just a single title. If it was an author's name, it would say author right here. So say I'm looking for To All the Boys I've Loved Before, and I want to see all the books in the series. I'm going to go ahead and click that first link. And this takes me to a page that has ebooks and audiobooks that are tagged with that series. Now you'll also notice it may have a book or two that's not in this series. And that's because there's something in the title or the description of this book that matches what we searched for. So let's go ahead and click on this one. It's telling me up here that it's number one in the series. And another great way to extend your search is to click on the author's name. So if I've read a book and I want something um, new to read and I want to see what else an author has written, I can click on their name and then I'm taken to a list of all the ebooks and audiobooks that they've been a part of. And that's just a really great way to keep your search going if you know a specific title you're looking for. A second way to search is if you don't know something specific you're looking for is to browse our book lists. So I'm going to go back up to the top and click the back button and click the back button one more time and one more time. And now we're back on the teens page. And if you scroll down, you'll start to see all of the book lists that the library has created. The book lists are highlighted in green. And then when it says a list created by VPL librarians, that's when you know it's a list created specifically by our VPL staff. And we don't always see all the books listed on this front page. You may need to click here to see the complete list of titles on a book list. Now in Libby, it's a scrolling game. So the only way to see the book list that we've created is just to keep scrolling, keep scrolling, keep scrolling, and keep scrolling. And you'll see lots of different book lists we've created, both for ebooks, audiobooks, and on lots of different topics. So that's a great way to find something that we recommend if you don't have something in particular in mind. The third way to search is by subject. So if we scroll all the way back to the top and then click all titles over here on the right, there's this little button right up here at the top that says more. And when you click on more, it'll give you a list of all the different subjects we've created to differentiate the books. So you've got science fiction, mystery, suspense, um, and there's lots and lots of topics here. So if you're searching for a specific subject, say you want a mystery, you could click this button. And then from here, you can refine your search over on the right. So if we click the refine button, say we only want audiobooks. So I can click audiobooks. And if I click refine again, maybe I just want to see everything that's available right now to check out. So I'll click that again. So it's telling me up here that there are 44 mystery audiobooks available to check out right now. I can always click this more button again if I want to further refine my search. So say I want mysteries uh, that are also fantasies. So if I click fantasies, now I have audiobooks that I can check out right now that are both fantasies and mysteries. And if I want to take off one of those subjects that I've selected, I can go up here to the top and just click the X by the word and it'll take me back one step to now just showing me the mysteries again. So you can play around with all of these different refine tools and the different subject options to help you narrow down some selections that fit exactly what you're looking for. 
One of our favorite things to do as librarians is to recommend great things to read and listen to to teens. So if you have any questions or you need any help finding something that works for you, don't hesitate to reach out to us. We'd love to help. Thanks for watching.